How you doing today, guys? Give me talking about the Lightbridge 2 system. Uh, I've had a few questions. Uh, like, uh, can the LB2 be used with a third-party gimbal? What does the Assistant 2 software look like? Once you upgrade from a S-Bus type radio like the Tyrannus here, uh, and just a couple things that I miss from upgrading, uh, a couple niceties that I would like to have. So, uh, let's take a look. Alright guys, so with the Lightbridge 2, unfortunately you can't control a third party gimbal with this system. Uh, now if you're going to use an S-Bus radio like a Tyrannus or something like that with an N3, you can map your, your channels and everything and you'll be fine. But if you have a gimbal that you've built or you've bought and you're happy with it and you want to use it, there is an option for the Lightbridge 2 system. The Matrice 600 Series Remote Controller Channel Expansion Kit. It's got a bit of a price on it, but uh, you just hook this up to the back of your controller. You've got some dials here and four switches. I believe the outsides are uh, three position, and these are momentary. But you just plug this into the back of the controller after you replace this there's just a few more pictures of it there you can see how it connects to the controller then you'll be able to control your uh, your third party gimbal or your lights or wherever you like that way Okay, Assistant 2. What's the difference between LB2 and S-Bus? Well, really, under basic settings, remote controller, this has changed just a little bit, but the big thing that's changed is here on the left side of Control EXP, the channel button is gone with an LB2 hookup. Now with a S-Bus, when I had the Tyrannus hooked up, this is from an earlier video, but uh, all of that that you're seeing now is gone with the Lightbridge 2. This is what it would look like with a uh, S-Bus, or when I had the Tyrannus hooked up, but all that's gone now. On flight settings for the Lightbridge 2, on failsafe settings, this will say unset, but it is set. You can only test it in the air. And on your IOC, that'll set, that'll also say unset, but this is all controlled by the app, so don't worry about that. Okay, so the Assistant 2 software, that's pretty much the big difference that you're going to see when upgrading from a uh, S-Bus to the Lightbridge 2 system. Uh, if you want to use a, a third-party gimbal, you are going to have to get that Matrice 600 uh, channel expansion kit and uh, mount it on the radio. Uh, it is kind of odd where it is, so you know, you'll know have to take your hand off and kind of reach around it and you know but it is what it is as far as the app goes it's a great app but the battery sometimes I'll fly an 8s or a 6s and you can you can change that whatever you like but 
it would be nice if I could set in some kind of configuration for different for different batteries. That way I don't have to keep setting the low voltage warning and the critical low voltage warning whenever I change batteries. That would be nice. Alright, so the biggest thing that I miss with this system is being able to control the pitch and yaw at the same time while flying. And with this system you can only control one axis at a time, which is pitch, then you press a button, then there's your yaw. You can't control them both at the same time. Now DJI did release a new controller. I don't know if it's out yet, but I don't know if it's uh, compatible with the Lightbridge 2 system or not. I think it's just the Inspire 2. Alright, so there we go. Uh, Lightbridge 2 system. Really excellent system, especially with the N3. The aircraft is extremely stable. I uh, haven't had any issues at all with it. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's about all I have right now, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. I've got a fly in here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, hit the like for me. If you really like the video, subscribe. And don't forget to enable notifications by clicking the bell so you'll know whenever I upload new content. I have other content on my channel, so give those a look if you like. My name is James, and I hope you have a wonderful day.